Two minutes and 47 seconds left. <clears throat> Last one minute, okay? When you're finished, you can just uh, send a chat to me. Okay, everybody, please put down your pencil and everything and just account how many questions you did. Bless you. Very oh, thank you. Okay, Emma the Lama, good job. You finished. Very good. Emma, you wish me go to young Hashi. Okay, so everybody, please count how many questions you did. Okay, so uh, after you finish, oh, sorry. Yeah, good job, Ariel. Okay, Violet, not bad. Very good. Serena, good job. Since you need that. 我还没有做完，我还剩几道题。那你就告诉我做了几题就行了，一共五十道题，你就没做的数一数就行了，减一减，所以 minus it. And Shane Shane, how many did you did? Uh,四十八. Okay, good job. 四十六. Okay, very good. Okay, do you know how to use the chat? So just to hit the chat, you can just directly chat to me. Okay, so it's directly. Um, the good thing is um, you both did very good. But if somebody only did two, right? So they are embarrassed to tell the whole entire class we just do two. So you can just check me. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, everybody. So first of all, uh, we're going to just uh, talk about the last class's uh, homework first, okay? So just give me one second. Did my mom send it to you? I finished. Mm -hmm. Your mom sent it to... Uh, the uh, uh the chat i mean um it's class sorry so i'm going to spend a little bit time on the angles part okay because the algebra part i think everybody did no problem at all 
but the uh, the angle part, I am going to spend some time. So Xinxin, you didn't do that, but you can still take a look at it, okay? So let's take a look at this one. So everybody, I'm going to focus on 14 to 18 of those questions, okay? So first of all, when you look at the graph questions, okay? So it is different than the algebra, but actually it is the same. You need to find all the clues. So first of all, Serena, we see those two lines. There's a little line here. What does it mean? It means that the angle is the same. Yes, because it's two lines the same. And the line, the angle which is pointed by the line is also the same. Okay, everybody? So that means this one is a what? It is an isosceles triangle, right? Because the top angle is 34 and because the angle inside the triangle is 180. So that's why A equals B equals 180 minus 34 divided by two. So the answer is 150, sorry, 146 divided by two equals 73. So 73 degrees and 73 degrees. Okay, so now let's take a look at number C. So number C, actually there are two ways of calculating. I'm not can telling you last class, yeah? Can I get my homework? Of course, of course you can get it. Yeah, go get it, okay? So last time I didn't mention this, okay? So last time I said, because C and B plus together form a 180 degrees, right? So Emma, I think your way of doing that is 180 minus 73 equals 107, correct everybody? So sincere, Ariel, everybody is did that way. But actually, there are also another way of doing that. Okay, so how to do it is, let me ask you a question, okay? So C, very good, equals 180 minus B, correct? And also, if I ask you to take a look at 34 plus A, is it also equals 180 minus B? Correct, everybody? Okay, so we can directly use another way. If you already know 34, and if you already know these two angles, you don't necessarily calculate the B, but directly, C equals A plus 34. You get the same answer, 107. Okay, everybody, I want you to take a look at this one. This is very useful, okay? So this is a supplementary angle of B, okay? So any supplementary angle of an angle of a triangle equals the sum of the not touchable angles Get it? Okay. 这个 C 我用中文说一遍啊。这个 C 是这个 B 的补角，对不对？ Supplementary angle. We learned it before, right? Remember, complementary. When two angles are complementary, the sum of these two angles are what? Uh, Ariel. Yeah. 忘了，刚才点头的。What? So supplementary means two angles if A and B are supplementary. So AB plus together equals what? 180. So if two angles are complementary, so these two angles are what? Plus together equals what? 90. Very good. Thank you, Violet. Okay. Okay. So we say C is a complement, sorry, C is a supplementary of B. So C equals the sum of the two angles, which is not touched by C, get it? Okay, so this is something you can directly use. So on the other hand, D equals what? D equals 132, 132 and also equals what? C plus B. Get it everybody? So, and I know C equals 48, because these two angles are the same, because these two lines are the same. It is isosceles triangle, so C equals what? C equals 48. So you can immediately know B equals what? Equals 132 minus 48 equals 84. And also how to calculate A. A is a supplementary angle of B, and of course you can using 180 minus 84. 
But remember what I say? I said plus is easier than minus, correct? Multiplication is easier than division. So when you are in the test or in a competition, everybody is very easy to get nervous, right, Serena? Okay, so we try to use more plus than minus because you see 180 minus 84, there's possibility you get wrong answer, but 48 plus 48, I think there are less people are going to make mistakes, 96. So A equals 96, B equals 84, and C equals 48, and D equals 132. So we're done. And don't forget getting the little angle sign on top of it. Emma and, and Violet, I have seen your homework. You get it all right. Very good. Okay. So these kind of questions is very helpful to train the other side of our brain. Okay. Uh, I'm just telling you. So when we're doing the calculation, okay, we're using the left side of our brain. And when we're using, looking at the algebra, like uh, those area, those angles, and those parameter of volumes, we're using the other side of the brain. Okay. So the brain is like that. When you really tighten one side, the other side get loosened. And when you're using the other side, the other side get loosened. Okay, so that is a really good way of training your body. So let's take a look at this one. I want to ask um, Xingxin a question, okay? Because I think you're listening to us. So P and Q are what kind of angles to each other? It is a uh, complementary to each other because P plus Q equals what? 90, correct? Because it's inside a right triangle. Understand, Serena? Ariel? Correct? And the P and 118 are supplementary to each other. Correct? Because plus together, they equals 180. Okay? So now let's take a look at this one. I want to ask you, of course, R equals 180 minus Q. Everybody know that. But I want you to use another way. The way we learned today is what? R also equals what? Equals 90 plus P. Understand everybody? Okay, because R equals the supplementary of Q equals what? Equals the sum of the other two angles of the triangles. Okay, so we can also equal P equals what? Equals 180 minus 118 and also equals what? Uh, Emma the Lama. That equals, um, Uh, oh, uh, 60. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. P, 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 it's P. Sorry, P is not. P, P is only like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, P is only having that. Sorry. Okay, P also could equals what? Equals another thing is because P and Q plus together equals 90 because they're complementary to each other. It could be 90 minus Q. Correct, Emma? Yeah, because this one is a right triangle. Okay, so you can do that. Okay, so now let's move forward to the number 17. Everybody, do you have any questions for number 16? No, okay, so let's move forward to the number 17, okay? So let's take a look at number 17. This is a big right triangle, but inscribe it, it, can, it ha has been cut into one isosceles triangle, and sorry, one isosceles triangle and one equilateral triangle. Correct, Violet? What is your question? Oh, not a question. Okay, I thought you raised up your hand. Okay, so this is a very useful triangle model, okay? When you're going to the grade 10 or grade 11, you're going to learn this with a trigonometry and also um, learn that. But now I kind of giving you the sense. So when you're going to the grade 10, then you don't feel panic or anything, okay? So let's take a look at this one. So first of all, I want you to take a look at the, the big one. It is a big right triangle. So that means C plus E equals 90. Everybody, don't you agree with me? And also we have E equals F, correct? And we also have A equals B equals C. Very good, okay? So now I want you to take a look at this one, okay? So if this one is an equilateral, can you tell me what is the angle of A, B, and C, uh, Serena? Oh, 
我很拍了说，这是我举手的，你就没叫我。Uh, is it sixty, sixty, and sixty? Very good, sixty, sixty, and sixty. And because C plus E equals ninety, somebody can immediately tell me E equals what, Ariel? Sixty. C oh. is sixty. E is what? C plus E equals ninety. So E equals what? Thirty. Thirty. Very good. Thirty. Okay. Good job. Okay. So now I want to ask Violet. So E and F equals to each other. So F equals what? Thirty. Very good. Okay. So now D. Of course, you have another way of doing that. Is what is, uh, one hundred eighty minus sixty. Right, Violet. So can you tell me if there's another way of doing that? Today's the way. So D equals what? D also equals A plus C, correct? D equals the angle which is not adjacent to these two angles, so it's 120. Get it, everybody? Okay, so now I want you to take a look at this one, okay? So this is 30, this is 60, and this is 90. So this is a very special. And Xin Xin, you are you are Oh, no, no. I thought your computer didn't work. I see you didn't work. Okay, everybody, take a look at this one. Okay, so this is a very special triangle. Okay, it's a very special triangle. Okay, I want you to write it down. Okay, with every thirty, sixty, ninety triangles. Okay, if you see there is a right triangle. Okay, the other two angles are thirty and sixty. So it is a very important angle. This is the longest line, right? So it's called hypotenuse. So this line and these two line, these two line are the right angle line, right? So the shortest right angle line is exactly half of the hypotenuse. Get it? So for instance, if I told you, this triangle is 30, 60, and right triangle. And I told you this one is four. So who can tell me what is the measurement of this one? Two. Very good. Good job, Emma. Exactly the half of the longest. Okay. And we have learned the go gooding li, do that, Serena? Remember? So C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Chibitida. Go good in the Walla Serena. Walla Mail. Walla, I had you can't you tell it's not you want. Oh, yeah, what bunny man, don't see Chi Yuya, she's a Yu Gang, a pussy bunchy. Okay, so who can tell me how many, uh, how, how long is the memory of the fish? Seven seconds. Yeah, so is it's the last joke when you don't want to know what you're doing. Okay, so if this is four, this is two. So this one is exactly two square root three. Okay, everybody. So if you have a triangle, they tell you this is two, this is one, this is a right, this is 30, this is 60. So this one is square root three. It is always like that. Understand? So you can just remember that and use it directly. Okay, so that is the thing. So you don't have to really under, uh, like remember that, but I think it's very helpful. And later on, we're gonna have uh, more of those questions later. Okay, so let's move forward to the number 18, okay? So angle A, angle B is what? So when you try okay. to solve the A and B, very good, it's isosceles. Cynthia, understand? Okay, so you need to find out what kind of angles it is, sorry, triangle it is to help you to understand and how to solve the problem. Because it's an isosceles triangle, so that means A equals B. And 52 is the top angle, so A equals B equals what? Equals 180 minus 52 divided by two, which is 128 over two equals 64. So A and B is 64 degrees, 64 degrees, okay? And Violet, you're doing very good. And I want you to, everybody, if you're solving those questions later on, every question you solved, after you solved, I know you put it in here, right? But I want you to also put them on the graph. This is, will be really helpful. I did Serena, understand? 
Yes, it's very, I know you did it. So that's why I said you're very good. <laughs> okay. So if you put it here, Sarina, this is 64, this is 63. So the D, you can immediately know it's 180 minus 64 minus 63, right? But if you're not putting this here, so this B in your brain, it's only still existing as a variable. Understand? So your brain is not going to connect them with the 64. Though you already corrected, you already, you already got it. Understand? So it is a very useful technique is when you are doing those questions, okay? Especially, uh, geometry, okay? geometry, when the question is telling you something, put this number or this measurement on the graph. Emma, remember? Okay, this will help you solve a lot of harder questions. So we have this one is 180 minus 127 equals 53. So this one is 53. So how do we do it? Because these two lines are the same, right, Cynthia? So C is also 53, right? So what is E? Very easy, E equals 180 minus 53 times two. Okay, so last but not the least, because F and 63 are complementary to each other, so F equals 90 minus 63 equals 27 degrees. Okay, very good, uh, Violet. And Cynthia, you understand everything right now? Okay, uh, Serena, good? I just write it. Mm, yeah, Karen, so I, can I use the washroom? Yeah, of course. But I told you, if you go to the house, you won't go to the house. Okay, everybody, so that is the homework for uh, last week, okay? So if you are still having some problems, I strongly suggest you do a little bit like those kind of questions because it's kind of like uh, uh, train your logic, but in a different way, okay? So uh, when you are right now, uh, none of you are in the high school yet, but uh, I have told, I have been told, Okay, so when we're in the high school, why there are, um, especially, um, I have to tell you, okay, so boys and girls, the function of the head is different, okay, sometimes they're different. Um, I'm not saying 100%, but boys is more easier for them to link and to create a picture in their brain, okay? So algebra way, girls are better than boys, but geometry way, way girls are better, uh, boys are better than us, okay? This is, um, for most of the uh, human beings, it's functional because, you know, so um, in the high school of grade 10 or 11 or even upper, there's a thing very hard is uh, you need to uh, connect the algebra and the geometry together. Okay, so Ariel, so this is a moment some of the students starting to feel that math is getting hard. Okay, so let me just uh, give you an example, okay? So for instance, I think everybody in this class, you know the coordinate system, right? I, I think... Uh, I have told you how to understand this one. And the Xingxing is not here before, but Xingxing can use your A calling assistant. Okay, so this is why this is X. Okay. So I think everybody knows that this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is one, two, three, and this is negative one, negative two, and this is negative, sorry, negative one, negative two for Y, right? So, but the thing is, what does this really ghost useful? Okay, so woman don't show ah, so a is a nanny, a is the er. This is a okay. Then there's another student said, okay, I want to find b, b is negative two and one. So negative two and one, so it's here. So this is b, right? So in the high school, you're going to learn that is a line go through this a and b. 
And actually, for you, this is a line. So uh, let me ask you, um, Serena, it is a geometry or it is the algebra for you? It's a geometry, right? It's a line, right? And later on, I'm going to tell you, uh, you're going to have a circle. And the circle is also put it on, sorry, put it on here, right? I know it's not a perfect circle, right? But everybody, this is geometry, right? But can you believe that? I actually can use the equation to describe this line. I can use the equation to describe this circle. So that is the moment that the algebra and geometry combine together. Understand? So how do we establish this ability and this logic base? is based on like all the angles training, all those things we learned like last time, okay? So I want you to, I'm going to starting to build, sorry, I have a very crazy dog. Daniel? Sorry, yeah. She you got is. a new dog, Daniel? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she's, uh, she's a baby. Oh, right. It's, it's Cody's daughter. Did Bagel have? Yeah, Bagel Did has Bagel four, have four mini four dogs. Kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's no no. It's, he had it's five Cody. dogs. He had five dogs. Cody was one it's, of the dogs, and then Cody. he had four other dogs. No, no, it's Cody's son. It's Cody's daughter. So the one who's uh, yelling and, and barking. Yeah, Cody. Cody's Cody dad had a daughter. Yeah, Cody had a daughter. Ah. Uh, and four and her daughters. Name. Yeah, four. No, Cody actually have three daughters and one boy. Yeah, yeah. Cody is very athletic and productive. And uh, very efficiency. Okay. A week ago, he was a baby. And now, and, oh, and wait, now he's, and a, now he's, he's a, a daddy. <laughs> he's a daddy, not a mom. Oh. Okay, so everybody, today we're going to learn a part. Ooh, I'm sorry. Today we're going to learn a thing. It's called a unit. Okay. So, Serena, Ariel, and Cynthia, and Emma, and Violet, and Xingxing, I think all of you has learned the unit in the school, right? I, I trust you, all of you has learned it. For instance, uh, Ariel, what is that face? You never learn one centimeter equals how many millimeters? Tell me. Uh, uh, Ariel? <laughs> one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. Very good. Okay, Serena, one kilometers equals how many meters? You don't know. Okay, you are. You go get it done. You are just so small and you you want that like in case, Serena. One thousand. Okay, Serena, see, just here, that that kick up. Okay, okay, so one kilometer equals one thousand meters. Okay, so those are the thing like we're kind of very familiar with, right? Okay, last question. Okay, Xing Xing, yeah, you don't think you you can get get away from it? Okay, so one liter equals how many milliliter? Oh, 1,000. Thank you very much. Okay, you're safe. You can go to the washroom freely. Okay, so, but today we're going to learn the thing is actually related to the United States unit, uh, unit system. Okay, so this is a little bit harder. And actually, um, there are a lot of students feeling not very comfortable while we're learning this. Okay, so in, in Canada, we use pounds, okay? to uh to to measure the things right you go to the supermarket and say oh one pound how much money and blah 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 and when you go to the U european they actually measure everything by kilograms okay so you're gonna see okay almost like the watermelon or the or the beans and whatever is the same price as canada but they get double the weight because one pound is only 454 uh, grams and one kilogram is just 1,000 grams. So they doubled us, even more than double, okay? And when you're going to learn the chemistry or something like that, Ariel and Serena and Xinxing, you're going to do use it very soon. Yeah, you are use, you're using more precisely measurement, right? So like ounces, okay? And when you drive to the United States, maybe some of you are going to study in the United States, you're gonna feel like, oh, the, the, the 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 speed limit is way lower than in Canada sometimes. Is it because the United States people are slower? No. no. It's like yes. miles per hour. Because they're miles, okay? They're miles per hour. So one miles is actually 1.6 blah, blah, blah kilometers per, like they convert it to the kilometers. So that's the thing, even you go to the, um gas station you want to get your your car to get pump up 
So yeah. the thing is, um, they're using liter. Oh, sorry, they're using gallon and we're using liter. Okay, so all those things is actually very useful when you're going to the new country or new society, or like you want to know what is their measurement, what is their, their units, what is their system? That is very important. Correct, everybody? Don't you agree with me? Okay, so without the system, measurement system, to compare each other, that is not fair. Correct, everybody? Okay, so for instance, okay, 我说哎呀, it's not fair because you know what? Maybe Emma learned that right before. Okay, maybe Serena is not in the good mode. So the system is actually when you compare two things, you need to put them into the same system. Understand everybody? Okay, so now today we're going to start using uh, learn this part. Okay, so this is also the grade eight. The I think is a hard part. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So this is an easier one. Okay, I'm just using a little bit of time to go through this one. So one kilometer equals how many centimeters? Okay, so remember I asked for the Serena one kilometer equals how many? Daniel. Ah, oh. okay. If he's still, she's keep barking. I need to uh, get her, so you can take a look at her. So one kilometers, yes, I know you want it, Violet. One kilometers cannot directly go to centimeter. So you need to have a what? You need to have a bridge of transfer them to the meters. So 1,000 meters and 10,000 kilometers, sorry, centimeters. Understand? Okay, so you can have this one in your brain or on the scratch paper, but the thing is I want you to starting to build a bridge between the two, uh, units okay so that's the same thing 112.3 meters i want you to became 100 and sorry yeah so it's 1230 centimeter then 12300 zero, zero millimeters okay so at the very beginning you might think oh maybe it's not necessary no at the very beginning i want you to do that but later on when you get more comfortable oh sorry it's grade 10 sorry it's not grade 8 okay so this is a First chapter of grade 10, okay? So now let's take a look at this one. So these are something like I don't, we can just go through this together, okay? So that's why, just to keep everybody's uh, microphone up, uh, open, okay? So first one, Shaxing, can you tell me, a ruler is 25 what long? Centimeters. Very good, centimeters, okay? I wish I have a ruler is 25 kilometers long, but it's very hard to carry with me, right? Okay, Vancouver is 2,237 from Winnipeg, uh, Emma. Kilometers. Very good. Okay, so a loony is two what thick, Ariel? Centimeters. <laughs> Millimeters. Millimeter, thank you, okay. So How that's like a loony thing. that's two centimeters thick? I want to have that one, okay, Ariel. If you have that one, please remember to give it to me, okay? The football oh, ran seven for first down. Seven what? Serena? Meter. Mm -hmm. Very good. This Okay, after this, I'm going to uh, get uh, Daniel. This book is three what thick? Uh, Cynthia. Yeah, This book is three meters thick. This book is three meters thick. Centimeter. Okay, the book is about like three centimeters thick. Okay, uh, next one, Emma. The girl is 1.6 meters. Very good. The marathon runs 42.3, uh, Ariel. Meters? 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 Kilometers, kilometers. It's marathon, it's marathon, okay. Serena, the small bug is eight what long? Millimeter. Okay. What happened to me? Okay, okay, Violet and, oh, sorry, I forgot you, but it's okay. 
everybody please compete complete number two okay i will i will make sure you get a lot of answer chances valid for these ones so everybody 10 questions okay so don't have to send it to me and because i'm going to get daniel and after i get daniel and all of you is going to uh, finish those questions okay so give me one second and ready go <laughs> Okay. Wait, Hello. I'm gonna pin you. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna pin you. I'm gonna pin you. Wait, where's the pin button? Pin, pin. She is the naughtiest one I ever had. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Okay, remove pin. Go back to the questions because I only did two. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I'm finished, but I'm not confident that my answers are correct. How about you check it? On the internet? <laughs> no, you check your answer yourself. I check it. I saw his tail. Okay, so I'm going to start to explain this question, okay? So this question is our today's step one, okay? Step one, of course, is gonna be very easy, but everybody, I want you to train yourself very well in the step one. So this one's very easy, 100, okay? But when you back to one centimeter to meters, it's actually 0.0. .0. Zero, 01 or you can say 1 over 100 meters that is totally fine okay but violet serena okay serena when we have to learn something okay when you have a smaller measurement and got it to the bigger measurement it is always one divided by the transaction rate transfer rate understand when you have the bigger one to the smaller one is always times the transfer rate. That is very important. Now you're doing meters and centimeters because you're very familiar with those ones. So it is totally fine. But later on today, after we learn the ounces, we learn the yards, we learn the inches and everything, you get Door. confused in those ones. So there's a very important mm -hmm. thing I want you to establish in your little brain. No, sorry, big brain. Okay, big brain is 
you have to think about it, which one is bigger? So let me ask you a very simple question, Emma. Meter and centimeter, which one is bigger? Of course, meter is bigger. When you transfer the bigger to the smaller unit, you actually times. Okay, because people in your brain is always like, okay, no, in this one is different, it's opposite. You times. You divide. Understand everybody? So this is more important, okay? So 1,000, so one over 1,000. So this one's one over 1,000. Sorry, sorry, 1,000 millimeter and a one over 1,000, okay? So one kilometer is what? Is 10,000, sorry, 100,000, okay? So this one's one over 100,000. And kilometers or oh, even one million millimeter. And this one's one over one over million. Okay, everybody get it yourself if it is right or not. I got one wrong. Which one? E and F. Okay, so get take a look, okay, why? Okay, why you're making mistakes and let's move forward if you don't have any questions, okay? So now let's take a look at this one. The second ones we have a little bit harder, okay, everybody? When you get this one ready, and the second ones always add up with what? It's decimal. So this time we're not doing a whole of them. We just do this line because the other half will be your homework, okay? Everybody, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, questions. You have to send it to you. No. Okay, so when you finished, I'm going to ask one of the things here, okay? So first one, let's build up the system in our brain, okay? So let me ask you, millimeter and centimeter. So it's smaller to big, right? So when we're getting smaller to big, it's divide or times? Uh, divide. Very good. So... 36.3 divided by 10, because millimeter to centimeter is 10, right? So divided by 10 equals what? Three. Three point. Mm -hmm. uh, six, yes, yes, you're right. 
Very good. Trust yourself. Good job. Okay. Serena, 一定要记得啊，在一开始的时候，我们一定要在脑子里面做出来这一个 system. Okay. So now let's one. Violet. So meters is longer than millimeter, or millimeters longer than meters. Which one's longer? Meters. So 大的到小的，对不对？好，大的像小的是乘还是除啊？呃，乘。Very good. So we need to times, right? So first of all, we need to know what is a unit transfer from meters to millimeters. So meter to centimeters, one hundred. So meters to millimeters, one thousand. So five hundred need to times what? Um, ten. No. One thousand. You wait. Yeah. 一米等于对不对 ？So it's one thousand. So it's five hundred. Thousand millimeters. Okay, Emma, the lemma. Next one. Eight point six. Wait. Eight point two six centimeters equals how many meters? So think about it. Centimeter is longer than meter, or meter is longer than centimeter. Meter is longer than centimeters. Very good. So centimeters, 小的对不对？小的到大的是除法还是乘法？除法。除法很好。So divide. So centimeter. So meter equals how many centimeters? A hundred centimeters. Very good. So eight point two six divided by one hundred. Very good. Equals zero point zero point. So move two decimal. Zero point zero point zero eight two six. Get it, Emma the Lama? Okay. Good job, Ariel. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Kilometers, so zero point three kilometers. So kilometers to meters. So which one's longer? Kilometers bigger than meters. Mm -hmm. Okay, kilometers bigger than meters. So it's divide or times. Times. Very oh, good. Yeah. Times. times what? Um, a thousand. Very good. That then you don't. Three hundred meters. Very good. Three hundred. Good job. Okay, next one, sixty-three centimeter. Xing Xing. Okay. So, sixty-three centimeters. So centimeter and kilometers. Which one's longer? Uh, kilometers. Very good. 那这个是小到大，对不对？从小到大要除法还是乘法？除。Okay. So divided by what? Um. We need to think about. Yes, but one kilometer equals how many centimeters? Hundred thousand. So you need to divide it by hundred thousand. Okay. So everybody, there are two ways of doing that. Okay. I have to tell you, of course, you can just give the answer of decimal. But if the question never clarify that, you can easily do sixty three over one hundred thousand. That is also a very safe way for you to answer the question as well. Understand everybody, because this one equals to, ah, uh, e r sin. So it's zero point zero 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 sixty. Okay, but when you're moving the decimal, sometimes we're not in the good mode or whatever. We may make make some mistakes. Okay, next one I want to call Violet. So forty kilometers equals how many millimeters? So you're going to do times from division. Times. Okay. So times. Times what? Um. One million. One million. Yeah. Mm -hmm, one million. Okay. So it's Four, 40, 40, forty million millimeters. Million millimeters. Okay. Understand everybody. So that is the requirement. Okay. So. Uh, the rest of them we're not going to do it because basically it's just a very simple calculations. So now let's take take a look at number six. Okay, number six. Remember, I said we need to put the thing into a same system to compare two things or three things, right? And also you need to put them into the same system in order to plus them or minus them to do the calculation as well. Understand, Serena? Okay. Ah, yeah. You put what? Now. 或许快，来来来
Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so 18 meters and 1.6 kilometers and 235 centimeters. Basically, you cannot plus them together directly. Okay, though they're all measurements, but you cannot do that. So some students said, okay, if you see the answer is based on meter, so I'm going to transfer everything to meters. Okay, that is a good idea. But sometimes if they ask for kilometers, but if you have some other very ridiculously different things, you can always choose the middle one. Okay, for instance, you have kilometers, you have meters, you have centimeters. Okay, meters will be the best way to put them together first. Then you're just moving them and transfer them to, into kilometers. Understand everybody? It doesn't necessarily has to be, oh, the answer is kilometers, so we have to transfer everything into kilometers. But I'm going to strongly suggest you find the middle way. Understand, Serena? And find the middle way and plus them together and then do the transfer. That will be easier. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So 18 meters, I don't I don't touch it. And this one equals what? 1,600 meters and plus 2.34 meters. Okay, so plus together equals 20.35 plus 1600 equals 1620.35. So that is the answer. Okay, everybody, so we're not going to do them all. So B and D, just do two questions, okay? So let's take a look at this one, okay? So first one, Emma, you do it OK. okay. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so three. 315 millimeters and 87 centimeters and 4.2 meters, okay? 好, 这个题目怎么做啊? 他说centimeter, 而且centimeter刚好在中间, 对不对? So 31.5 centimeter 
plus 87 centimeter and plus 420 centimeter. Correct? So I'm going to put these two together, 31.5. So 118.5, 118.5 equals 538.5. Okay, so I have seen Xinxin got it right and uh, Emma, okay, so the decimals, okay. So this one is, I'm going to take them into meters first. So 4300 plus 64.3 plus 1.28. Okay, so equals 65.58. So it's 4365.58 meters. And the kilometers will be 4.36558 kilometers. And trust yourself, Xinxin, but I think it's okay? Very good, okay? Emma, okay? So we're human beings. It is okay to make mistakes, but don't always make mistakes. And Ariel, who gave you to give you two small books? Oh, you're very good to give me two small books. Okay, so when we do those questions, we want to see all the decimals. Okay, so that is a requirement. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So people said, oh, metric system, we even have the word problem. Yes, we have the word problem. Okay, so actually word problems is the, actually the problems that a lot of students said, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, but just remember, read the question carefully and make sure you understand. For instance, okay, this question is very bad. You have, 我们以前知道 centimeter 都 cm， 对不对？他说 centimeters， 然后一些小朋友就懵圈了，说啊，这是什么东西啊？老师 ，I don't understand. Okay, just to read them out. Okay, then you know it is centimeters. Okay, I know it's not that very often that people is reading like those ones. So millimeters. Okay, so now let's take a look at the second one. Okay, so we're going. We already go through the easiest part. But the easiest part is help us to establish the system. So now let's take a look at this one, the length of the, the, the measurement that we don't really use a lot. Okay, so this is the thing, okay? Everybody, please take two minutes to write everything down because you need them to do your homework. Why are the numbers so specific? Yeah.
We're only supposed to write it, right? Yeah, write it down. Everybody, finish. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, finish. You may finish. You tell me. Because I don't want to train you. Wait a minute. You know, ah, this teacher how does he train us? He's like training us like a monkey. Okay, you finish. You tell me. Okay, you have it. You have it. Okay, good. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so of course they said the the measurement is more difficult to work with compared to the metric system, right? Okay, because the before one is always based on ten. 对不对，小朋友们 ？OK， 好，我们以后还要学习什么？你记不记得我们以后还要学习什么 ？How to transfer a ten-digit base number to a two-digit base？ 记不记得老师以前跟你们说过我们要以后要学这个东西的？记不记得？因为在 computer 里面只有零和一啊。So our computer base is based on zero one because they are two digits。他们是二进制的，他们一加一等于十。Yeah。Understand? So in the computer world, there are only zero and one numbers. Then the teacher asks, if we are five-digit numbers, then there are only zero, one, two, three, four, five. There are no five. Because one is always based on zero. Okay. Now we have to say one plus four equals what? We have to carry over. It's equal to ten. Okay. So one plus four equals what? We have to carry over. It's equal to ten. Okay. So one plus four equals what? We have to carry over. It's equal to ten. Okay. So one plus four equals what? We have to carry over. It's equal to ten. Okay. So one plus four equals what? We have to carry over. It's equal to ten. Okay. So one plus four equals what? We have to carry over. It's equal to ten. Okay. So one plus four equals what? We have to carry over. It's equal to ten. Okay. So one plus four equals Because not everything in this world is based on ten. Okay. So, yeah. So foot for the inches based on twelve. So every twelve inches equals one. 而且还有一个东西 actually in our life we know we we learn it every day. It's not based on ten. Is what? Time. Time is based on 什么的 Time is sixty 的你看 twenty four plus thirty six minute equals what? One hour. 看到吗？哎，这个时间是六十进位的，对不对？那还有什么 time 什么 day day？ 二十四个小时进位 ，so it's twenty four base. Understand? So this is different. So this is the system you need to get it. So convert seven and one over four yards to inches. Okay. So how do we do this one? 这个就有点难了啊。所以我们先来看一下。We need to take a look at this one. 有没有 yard 直接到 inches 啊？没有，对不对？先要 yard 到 feet, feet 到 inches. Okay. So first one, I want to ask you, yard 长还是 inch 长啊？ Yard 长，对不对？ Okay. So you have this one build up in your brain. So it's times instead of division. Understand, Violet? So this is very important. Remember, 老师跟你说，哎，我们 meter 到 millimeter 为什么要这样想？因为后面要难起来了。Okay, so instead of thinking about seven and one over four yard, okay, everybody, I'm going to think about one yard first. So one yard equals what? Equals three feet, right? And because one feet, one foot equals twelve inches, so three feet equals what? Thirty six inches. So this one is one. I want you to have them on the paper or in your brain or whatever, but you have to establish this one. 那这个题目怎么做 ？Very easy. So it's seven and one over four times twelve times three. Get it? So that's what equals two hundred and sixty-one inches. Okay. So now let's take a look at this one. Now I want to convert inches to feet. I know twelve inches is one feet, so inches is smaller than feet. So this time we do what? Division. Get it? So fifty-seven divided by twelve. So you can have fifty-seven over twelve. So divided by three. So nineteen and four. So the answer is four and three over seven. So you can say four point. Sorry, four and three over four. So the answer is four point, uh, four point seven five feet. Get it, everybody? Okay. 如果你在前面的时候没有把这个大和小的这个概念放在脑子里，现在做就会有一点晕了。OK， OK， so now we're going to think about it. How to convert feet into miles? So first of all, everybody, feet is smaller than miles, and I know one five thousand two hundred eighty feet equals one mile. So I know it's division. So one seven one six zero divided by five two eight zero equals. Okay, so let's take a look at example five. Convert one and three over four miles into yards, into feet, and into inches. Everybody, so this is your question to 
do. Okay, everybody? One, two, three. Karina, Hey, la. OK， 有人做好了吗？哟，星星做好了 ，Good job， 星星。检查一下啊Harry, can I use the washroom? Yeah, of course. Okay, so everybody, I think, uh, yeah, let's take a look this one. Okay, Emma the Lama, 最后一题又有点算错了啊。Okay, so this is just a simple calculation. Okay, everybody, we should be have no problem at all. So if you have any questions, um, please just to check the transfer like transfer rate. Okay, so this is homework. Okay, everybody, when we're doing this, there's only one thing uh, I want you to uh, make sure, okay? Always ask yourself, Serena, if it is smaller to big, your division, okay? If it is big measurement to the smaller, your times. That is the only thing that will matter, okay? So now let's move forward to the next one. So we're going to learn a little bit something which is not so, 
I don't know. I feel like the unit thing is kind of boring, right? It's only just calculations. It's like not, not something like really funny. So now since we're doing the division already, so I'm going to just uh, talk about something a little bit funnier. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So everybody, we're going to learn the fraction and decimal today for 15 minutes about uh, something a little bit funny. So first of all, I am not sure that uh, you have learned that one, okay? Before is actually most of the, not all the, not all the decimal number could be transferred to the fraction, okay? When we learned it in the primary school, like most of the decimal we learned can be transferred to the fraction. For instance, 0 0.25 equals one over four, correct, Emma? I, I ask you to memorize it, right, Serena? equals what? One over eight. Okay. You're not a fish anymore. I officially announced you a human being back. Okay, no, no, no. Maybe you see that half human being, half of a fish. So this is Serena. Okay. So this is yeah, so it's a mermaid. So not so the, the decimal could be transferred to, to the fraction, actually have a name. Okay, they're rational numbers. Yeah, they're rational numbers, okay? So the decimal that cannot be transferred to the fraction is irrational numbers. So what is the number that cannot be transferred? For instance, they're the thing you must know that cannot be transferred to the fraction, pi. Pi equals what? 3.14526 It is an unlimited, non-repeating decimals. Understand everybody? Okay, so any unlimited, non-repeating decimals are cannot transfer to the fraction and also called irrational numbers. Okay, so for instance, we have square root two it is cannot transfer to the fraction. So that's why it is called what? It is called irrational numbers, okay? So today we're going to learn how to transfer the repeating decimal to fraction. Okay, for instance, we know there's a one very popular, 0 0.333333 unlimited. We can just simply write it 0 0.3 and dot on top of it. So this one is equals to what? Everybody know that, one over three, right? Okay, Serena, but can you tell me what is 0 0.11111 equals to? Make a guess. One over 11? Okay, so Serena guessed one over 11. Who, who else, who wants to make a guess? So what is the relationship between 0 0.3 to 0 0.1? Okay, this is my hint. Perry? Mm hmm Instead of a dot, can you also put like a line? Yes, you can do line, but about, it's just one number. Just one number, we usually use dot. But if it is a couple of numbers repeating, using a line. How about one over nine? Very good. Thank you, Serena. That is a very logical guess. Why? Because 0 0.3 and 0 0.1, the, the, number, the, the, the relationship is divided by three. So I just do divided by three. So one over line. Let's see if it is your right or not. So one divided by nine. Zero point. Yes, you're right, Serena. Good job. Okay, so now let me ask you. So who can tell me what is zero point two decimal repeating equals one? Two over nine. Very good, thank you, Serena, good job. Okay, everybody understand? 
Okay, so I think now you probably know so 0 0.7 decimal equals what? Equals 7 over 9, right? So you should find out that actually the decimal could be transferred to each other, right? So let's take a look at this one, okay? So repeating decimal is a, repeat, a recurring decimal, so something like that. So infinity, infinitely repeating decimal is called a repeated or repented, okay? So now let's take a look at this one. So everybody, we have already got this one, okay? 0 0.8888 equals what? Do we send it to you? 8 mm -hmm. over 9. Very good. Good job, okay? So now... But if we know that, so, but sometimes the decimal is not only just always 0 0.11112222333, 3333, right? So it is almost impossible to find out the relationship between 0 0.11112 to 0 0.774747, right? It's not, they don't, they don't have a relationship. Okay, so how do we do this one? Okay, so now I want you to create a thing for you. So if I make x equals 0 0.74747474, I'm gonna write something. So how much is 100x equals to? Seventy four point seven four seven four seven four. Very good. Seventy four point Okay, everybody. If I minus that, one hundred x minus x equals how many x? Ninety nine x. Thank you. Equals what? Seventy four point seventy four seventy four seventy equals zero point seventy four. 是不是后面这些东西都没了？因为减掉了，对不对？ Serena. Okay, so equals what? Equals 74. So x equals what? 74 divided by 99. Everybody, I want you to check if I'm right or not. So 0, 7, 7, 7, Okay, so 74. So 74. Get it, everybody? So am I right? Okay, so I want you to take a look at this one. Okay, so take a look at this one. So how do we do it? Please copy it down.
OK， everybody， did you get it？ 如果不懂的，现在可以问老师啊。懂了吗？都懂啦。星星，你给我看个大脑门懂了吗 ？OK， 好，那我们 let's move forward。OK， so let's take a look at the next one。So the next question is， so I want you to， I want you to take a look at this one。OK， so Use the ones. Use something. Oh, I don't have the rights to name other uh kids like other dogs named、uh, Violet, because um because it's not technically it's not my dog, right? Because、uh, Daniel's mom. Goody. Dan Goody made. Oh yeah, wait, no, it's mom. Yeah, Goody is a dad part. So you know,、um, actually, in your family, that's the same thing, Violet. Your mom is actually having more power than your dog. I'm sorry, than your dad. I don't have a dog. Yeah, right. Your mom is kind of like entitled of like more things than your dad. Correct. Then, so yeah. But then, so when, but then when how do you know was, what name、um, Daniel's mom wants? No, no, because one of the dog is belong to Goody, so. That's a deal we set up like from the very beginning, so that's why we get the chance to name、uh, Daniel. So because that's the biggest daughter of Goody's, Goody's first daughter. So we said no matter is a boy or girl, we want the first one. So and because it's Goody, right? So we call Goody Goldar, right? Goldar. So you know that, right? So her his Chinese name is Goldar. So that's why Daniel's Chinese name is Daniel. So it's Goldan the new. So it's called Daniel. <clears throat> Okay, so you translate it into English as Daniel, so so that's how we get it, and it's not Daniel, so Violet is Daniel, so it's D A N I E L L E, so it's a girl's name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't see Daniel again. Yeah,、uh, she's sleeping, and I don't want to touch her. She's gonna be too excited after the class. I can do that because、uh, if I touch her, she's gonna be, oh, are you want to play with me? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so always like that. She's always ready for the play.、Mm -hmm. So now let's move back to this one, okay? Because you know, um, so zero point nine 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 is more like x equals this one, and ten x equals a nine point nine nine nine. And Xingqing, I have got your answer, but do you want to take a look again? Okay, so maybe I, I should do eight because nine 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 is another question. Okay, so you can see. So nine x equals eight. So x equals eight over nine, right? Everybody. So I want to ask you a question. Why this one is ten x? I realize it's actually one number repeating. Why for this question is times one hundred x? Is because it's two numbers repeating. So let's take a look at number three. So how many questions? How many numbers are repeating? Four, four, four numbers. So how many numbers? So we're going to do what? So it's ten thousand x. Okay, equals seven three eight three point seven three eight three seven three eight three. Okay, so one x equals zero point seven three eight three seven three eight three, and da 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 da. And by minus them, you only have seven three eight three. On the left side and right side, sorry, right side and left side will be nine, 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 nine x. So x equals seven three eight three over nine, 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 nine. And everybody, when numbers gets big, I want you to check if they are divisible by the common number, the denominator, and the numerator. And I want you to check if they are having the common factors and simplify them before you handle the answer. Understand, everybody? Okay. So that's the thing, okay? So I'm not going to tell you how to do this one because it's zero point four one two one two one two. Because I want you to find out yourself. So today's homework will be something, of course, with something we already learned in the class. But also, I will give you something that we didn't learn in the class. I want you to find out yourself, okay? So the only key to get the answer things here is keep trying. Though you maybe hit the rock. Or maybe you're not get them one hundred percent at the very beginning, but you cannot give up and keep trying is the only way to get the right answer. Okay, Serena. Serena, the 傻笑什么了？
啊，点头。OK， so that's it for today's class。我在这找个豆豆。好，找个豆豆。Oh, Daniel, Daniel, but he's not my uncle. Where is that? Oh, Daniel. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm gonna pin you. I'm gonna pin you. Pin, 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 pin. Oh, he's still sleeping. He's not very clear. Oh, Daniel, you're this very annoying little boy. You look like he's very squishy. I'm telling you, I'm already breeding a lot of little dogs. We've already bred a lot of little dogs. This one is the naughtiest of all. Can you believe that? No, you you don't believe. Daniel, say hi to everybody. Say hi. Oh, oh. He's yeah, he said, he said, he said, she, 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 yeah, she, he looks like a girl, boy, because too naughty. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to say, I'm a good, do you want to sing a song? Oh, she actually can. You. Now, bar, please. Okay, everybody, that's it for today's class. Okay, if you have anything or any questions, Cynthia is always asking me questions. Okay, that's really good. I, I like the communication like that. So you, if you, you do have a WeChat, you do it. If you don't, you can always shoot me with an email or whatever. You have that, right? And you can always ask your mom to connect me. Or your dad as well. It's okay. You don't have to necessarily be, be mom, okay? But I know most of the time it's my wife. Okay, everybody, bye-bye.